Hello and welcome to Seven Days to Die. Creative mode. Experimenting in Alpha 8, 19. I nearly said 18 there. Alpha 19. Uh, we did some... Oh, there's a bear. Hello, bear. 1600 health. Good lord, you're a big furry motherfucker. God damn. Yeah, um, we did some testing with um, weapons. There's another bear. Why are there so many bears? That's crazy. Uh, to see what we could do uh, with weapons. And we settled on something we kind of liked. Now, we need to do some candy tests next, I think. See how good the candies are. So, actually, no, we don't need to do a test the candies. The candies should be pretty self explanatory. But what we do need to do is get the um, dev blocks, dev. We're going to need the digger and the killer. Insta death. Yes. Um, so, if we get those on the go, uh, we don't need lockpicks. We don't need hackers. Thanks. Don't need jailbreakers. Do need the digger. Do need the pistola. Now, don't need dev blocks on. Uh, but we do need. Um, let's see. Now we know that the wedge tips, the wedges, the uh, not the ramps, the wedges, um, zombies can walk up them. And from Chewoodle's videos, we also know that you can trick the AI into thinking that they can walk along it when they can't. Um, so we're going to build on that. Uh, if I can flag stone blocks, let's get four blocks of that. All right, so we need to find somewhere. Now the K menu no longer works, which is really irritating. So yeah, that's irksome to say the least. So, what can we do? Is there any way of... Let's set the time to 9.40. Um, fuzzy Bear, stay away, please. Thank you. Right, so we've got to have a nice area that's already flat, because we can't make somewhere flat, because the K menu doesn't exist anymore. So, I say... This intersection right here should be good. So let's clear out all of the things that we don't need. Just really give us some extra space. Hello, pause. How goes things today? Um, let's get rid of rubbish. Oh. We're going to have to go through and manually get rid of all this stuff. That not having access to the K-menu really sucks. It means you can't flatten everything out nicely and quickly. You have to mess around. Now, I suppose I could just go and get a bunch of wooden frames. I mean, it is creative mode, after all. Hello, bears. Good lord with the bears today! You know what? No. I'm not I'm not dealing with your fuzziness today, bears. Be gone. Sorry, but no. Ah, that's unfortunate for the chihuahua. But uh I'm surprised you're still up actually. I'd have thought you'd have gone to bed by now. Or is that the reason 
that you're uh, in the mood to castrate a chihuahua. Oh, this is horrible. This is really horrible having to do all this by hand. Why, fun pimps? Why? Why did you do this, fun pimps? This is horrible. I mean, you can't test zombies in the world editor. So why take the... Mm, fun pimps, you're a bunch of douches. Come on. Clear it up. Come on. You can do it. Now, if we get that clear. Now, what I want to test is a variation on... Uh, well, first of all, I want to get some wood blocks because I want this flat. Because that ain't flat. That is clearly not a full block. Um, so, I need frame... Ah, rebar will do. Don't have to be anything spectacular. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Ah. It's horrid. It's horridable. It's horridable, pause. It is horridable. Right, so. We've had... the wedge tips are not really nerfed at all. But I'm sure that the fun pimp's going to change that soon. So the idea is to try and find something we can do in the meantime. Oh, it's, it's really bad. They've taken away the K-menu. The K-menu let us delete huge areas of, of land quickly without having to use the digger tool. And now we've got to use the digger tool, which is really aggravating. Well, ah, what can you do? Fun pimps know best. <laughs> sure. If you're watching fun pimps, you don't know best. This was a horrible decision. And why did you do it? Oh, it's for performance reasons. Performance reasons. What performance reasons? There is no performance reasons. This is just bullshit. You just act deactivated it and forgot to tell everyone that you deactivated it for some reason. You don't want people to be testing things out. Right, now that should be nice and flat. So, we know that the zombie force field for the moment works, also. So, and we know that zombies will go into destroy everything mode. Now, the other thing that, that Jiboodle was testing was his um, base from Wasteland series. Now, the way he does that is he has the um, let's give them stairs access in let me make it that big for the moment then let's get those down Make it five wide, like so. And then from there, we start going up on the ramp. Now they will take up wedges, like so. So we want them to come in like that, then this one can be the wedge. Right. 
what I'm doing at the moment is I'm coming up with, uh, I'm messing with uh, some build ideas to try and break the game. Or at least make it easier. Now, I want to do two versions of this. I want to do the first version. We're going to need to go up a bit higher than that. You see, that's only going up that far. That's only going up there, and then you have to jump to get in there. And the idea is... See, the way he'd got it is set up. Um, I didn't really like. Uh, and I want to see if I can do it slightly differently. But better error. You see, I want... If we're going to be stopping the zombies there anyway... So let's just get the ramp up first. Because we're going to need to go up high enough that they choose to go up the ramp rather than think they can beat down to us. So. So that's how Jawoodle has it currently. Then he builds up here and he comes across, puts two hatches in, and yeah, better is always good. The idea is to make everything better. So he has it set up like so two hatches there. He can then stand on this part here the hatches are above uh does he have the hatches he hatches the hatches here so that's not the right spot he has the hatches going there and across the idea is that the zombies come here they can't jump because there's a hatch in the way um which I'll grab a hatch just to proof and point. Always good to check and double check. So that's wrong. So that's at the open end, right? Okay, so that needs to be. No, yes, that side. And then that side. Okay. So that's how Jewoodle's currently got it. And what I don't like about this is you're aiming down and you're only getting headshots. But if a crawler comes up, the crawler is down below the other zombies kicking the shit out of your base and there's nothing you can do about it until you kill the other guys out so my idea is if we uh, get that built out first my idea is something similar to that and we'll build that something similar here. Like so. So I go in one, two, and then ramp. Okay. So one, two, ramp. Now, there is a question. Seeing as they can now walk up those steep 
uh, slopes. Would it be good to use the fact that they can still walk up those steep slopes against them? Because yes, they can still walk up the steep slopes, but they walk up them very slowly, even when sprinting. So is that something we can take advantage of? In which case, so this comes down this way. And can we still get in and out? So we'll go to the same height on each one. And we'll test each one. So that's how high we need to go. Coming in the second one. Um, need to put... So one, two... That's where the ramp goes. Um... So that can come out to there. So if we make sure that the ramp goes up that way, that is four. I don't need to go quite that far out because we're going. Uh, on face, like so. Copy rotation, like so. So we can still run up and Zombies should be slower coming up and down that. Uh, copy shape. Boop. 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 Bad block. Right. So, up like that. Rawr. Up. So, that's the same level. So, how would we then... So, it would be... Now, according to his logic, you'd put them there. Or there, probably. Let's take this up another level. Because... That's four ramps. Now, we put that like that. So, this can then come up another. See, in the zombies' minds, morning now, in the zombies' minds, that is the same distance to travel as that. It's still four, but instead of it four horizontally and one up each time, it's one up one over. Not too bad, just trying to do some uh, experimenting. Now I'm going to try and keep it fairly similar and I'm going to put that like that and that's the top like that. Okay, so So the zombies come up to here, ra 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 ra, in and fight, right? On this one, zombies come up. Oh, actually no, it's one more because there's that block there, and then they jump up. Okay. Right in that case, this is in the wrong place. Bye bye. Really? 
Okay, so you can shoot through those. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so if we do that... Put those there. That is now the same distance, but we're much higher up. Which should be good. Rah, 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 rah. Yep, I agree. Zombies go rah, 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 and then they get eaten. So they should see this in exactly the same way as that one. But like that, like that. Now, can we still get up in the same way we can get up the other one? So you run up here. Yes. You still get up. You just can't be running when you do it. Okay, so that's going to suffer the same issue, but the crawlers are easier to see coming up, theoretically, than this one. Theoretically. Now, I'm going to give myself a mooly weapon. Um, for the sake of fun, we'll go with um, Steel Spear. Oh, yeah. Ooh, why is it red? Why have I got a red Steel Spear? Ah, my spear is red. I should see a doctor. Right. Um, mod wise, structural brace, sharpen. Oh, serrated mod. Ten percent bleeding. Tempered blood. Uh, tempered blood. Tempered mod. Increases block damage, lowers degradation. That's not so good. No. No, 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 no. Burning shaft mod. Yes, 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 yes. We must have a burning shaft. Okay, sir. And it means we'll be able to see. Wow, those plant fibers sound heavy. Good lord. Right, okay. So we've got our steel spear. We can go R, R in their faces. There. Now, I have a feeling that isn't going to be high enough for the zombies to just say, hey, let's just go up this way. So... Just for the sake of argument, we're going to make sure the Zambonis don't fancy coming up this side. Because we know that they can um, stand on each other's shoulders now. She's not so good. They're like Jenga. Zombie Jenga. That's what we're playing now, is Zombie Jenga. You have to rem remember which ones to pull out to make them all fall down. That's what she said. Um, right, okay. At the moment we'll stick those in like so. Okay, so that is where we are. Let's give ourselves some... Oh! Um, five of those. Come on, ladies. Right, so yeah, that works the way it's intended. So the zombies come up. 
you stab him in the face. This is nothing new. We knew this worked. We've seen it from uh, Chiboodles. Awesome. Right. Cool. That works. Now I need to repair that because zombies are annoying and aggravating. Which means we need some cobblestone. Where is the cobblestone? Come on. Where is cobble? Next page is cobble? Yes, next is cobble. That'll do. That should be enough. So, they about broke through that. So... Right. Now that should be Please go by. Oh All right, so yes. Zombies should see that as a perfectly viable path up to us. So they enjoy that one. But as you can see, it takes a bit of damage. And on day one horde, uh, uh, day seven horde will tear through this like paper. So we don't want to, you're going to have to at least upgrade to the 1500 health. Because flagstone just ain't gone cut. I mean, it's got the same health effectively as an upgraded wood block. The only difference being it's got slightly harder. So it is slightly harder. Because um, each block has a hardness factor as well as a health factor. And that determines a couple of things, but it also determines how much health damage they take, usually. Um, now let's make the back of this just as... Come on. There we go. Still haven't fixed the, fixed the hitboxes around um, upgrading stuffs. So, fun pimps, if you're uh, watching this, you, know, you might want to get on that. When I'm stood looking at a block here with a nail gun, I'm not looking to upgrade the grass. You know, I'm sorry, but why would you want me to upgrade the grass? Can't even repair grass. It's not like when you punch grass, it has health. Fun pimps, if you're listening, just make it so that we can upgrade through the grass, please. I mean, it's not rocket science. Just do the do, do the thing, do it, and we'll be happy. Well, we won't be happy. Then there'll be something else we'll want you to fix. But that's beside the point. Of course they haven't. They never fix anything. They just make things... They just watch Jewoodle videos and then fix exploits. That's what they do all day. They're like, oh, Jewoodles found an exploit. Let's fix that. I think Jewoodles secretly a fun pimps developer. Right. So let's get this all up to the same level. So, how has everyone been doing lately? Hope everyone's well, and keeping safe, and having fun.
Now, in the interest of... I don't want the zombies th thinking they can take the other tra uh, track through. We'll do that. So, F6. Ah... Excuse me, ladies. Come on. Really? Really, ladies? Come on. Get out of there. Come on. Get over here. So you still reckon you can get through there, there, and here to get to me rather than run up there? Really, ladies? I mean, that's... That's pretty impressive. But okay. Well, for the sake of... Let's just delete this for the moment. Now. Um. No. Right. Okay. Uh, F6 and... Come on, fuckers. Alright. So they don't see that as a valid path anymore. Even though... Oh no, there we go, there we go. Come on, ladies. Come on. Come on. There we go! There you go, you got it. One of you got it. Wow. Typical chair ladies, one does something, they all do something. Eh, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Not sleeping the best, but we're doing okay. Look at that sea of burning. Hello ladies. Typical cheer cheerleaders. Just all on fire and burning. Um, I don't know how they are in the US, but that's how they are here. They're all on fire. Every single one of them. Ow! Do you mind? Good lord, ladies. Chill yourselves. Now, why... That's weird. That means that we can have an entrance. See, they'd rather beat their way through than get up there and go up that way. So they see height as longer than depth, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, what are we kind of getting loot-wise at this stage? Ammo and frothies and monies. Well, it's not bad loot, I suppose. Uh, right. That's interesting. Mm, 
That is difficult to get in. You can do it. Okay. Right. Now then. That should be the same as... Now here's the other side of the test that I wanted to do. Uh, do we have flagstone poles? We do. We want advanced rotation. There. Now this is going back to an old build design. And what you can then do is uh, go along. Oop, nope. Bad block. Is go along uh, oi, underneath. Like so. See, the idea there being that the zombies can now get up to the same height here as they could before. And you're still giving them a jump to do, right? Now, can we get in? That's the important thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, we cannot. Right. So that is no longer serves as a way in. But I think that's just a little bit too high. Can you increase your jump height? Because that might be what you had to do. Uh, yeah, you can jump two meters high. So then we'd be able to jump higher. But then you'd have to spec into agility for this build to work. She isn't ideal, really. What was damaged? Oh, you. All right. Okay. Maybe if we take the top row off. Come on. Oh, come on. That's the same height as a block. Why can you not jump over that? Come on. There you go. You can jump over that. Okay, so the idea here, with those down, zombies can't jump over, right? They're still going to come up to about head height. One hopes. Let's try that again. This time we'll just do the five zombies. Okay. Come on. Come on. See, see, this one's got the idea. So you can't get in. Okay. You're still wanting to break in that way. That is so weird. Come on. Where are you? Okay. Come on. Come up. So you still would prefer to break through all those blocks than to just come up and break through one block. 
That's really weird. But okay. Right. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven. Now we're going to go Aztec style. Because Viking style works. You could certainly have that as a uh, form of defense if you so wish. They're still going to kind of come in from different directions. And there's no real falling back, although you could have a staggered fallback base, I suppose. You know, like that design there, only with staggered levels going up and up and up. Which works. And that's where I want that to stop. Now, if we take that out, no, I want to do it with stairs. There's a reason I want to do it with stairs. I want to see how the zombies react to the stairs version of this. Because I think... There's a reason I'm doing this. It's a cunning reason. I have many cunning reasons for many of the things that I do. Okay, so to here. 
Can we get in there? No, we cannot. So... So we'd need that to come out again. Damn it. Let's see. So if we want a staggered base defense. So jump flat. Stairs. Drop. Drop. St flat. Stairs. Drop. Drop. Flat. That needs to go up. So that would go Ah, yes, so if we get that...
Oh boy. What I might do is quit out. Set the um, zombies damage lower. Just for testing purposes. Stairs flat, stairs drop. Wait, that's not right, is it? No. No, that's wrong. I've done that wrong. Should be stairs at the bottom. So, jump, hatch, Can't jump. So they attack in there, so that gives me that access there. Stand up there, and then And then you could go as high as you really wanted with this thing. Pretty sure. So that is stairs, jump. Stairs, jump, stairs, jump. Right. Stairs, jump, stairs, jump. So all the way around here should be... Stairs. Jump. There's jump. Right. Stairs jump, stairs jump. Right. Stairs. Off chrysanthemum. Right. Jump.
Shush. All right. So stairs. Um, symbol. Thank you. Jump. <laughs> Stairs jump. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. You can do it.
Now you probably wouldn't need to make this as big as I've made it here, but I'm just making it this big because I can. That's what she said. Good morning, Ninja. How are you today? Hope everything is good with you guys today. Uh, Cap's at work, isn't he? Or is that Saturdays? I don't know. Almost awake, yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Off to work now. Uh, wish him safe journey there. Tell him no gallivanting on that foot of his. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone. Are you serious? Come on. Oh, Thank you. I'm trying a variation on a, a build your woodles done. Um, so far, there's been some interesting zombie AI. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true at all. Come on. God, I hate that noise. I wish you could turn that noise off. Gun's not as good as it used to be. It used to be much quicker. You used to be able to just run along and it would go chugga 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 and upgrade everything and be like, oh, brilliant, this is amazing. I'm an upgrade god. And now it's like chunk, 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 chunk. Ugh, it's most annoying and aggravating. And it makes that annoying noise. Oh, you haven't got anything to upgrade this with. Oh, shut up. I wish there was an upgrade tool, like a dev upgrade tool, where you said, this is what I want you to upgrade it to. Don't try and upgrade it any further. I want you to, like, you hold the R button down. And it says, right, what do you want to upgrade to? And then you load it with the resources. You know, that would be kind of cool. All right. Okay, let's close all this in so we don't get any surprises. Now this should behave very similar to the Jewoodle's base, but because of the stairs, you've got more of an angle to aim down, and you should hit the um, oh, crawlers more doing it this way. Should. Because I think that's the biggest problem with his design is the crawlers are a pain in the ass. Because they, they'll be down below the other zombies' height. And you're hitting the other zombies but not hitting the crawlers. Which would be problematic. Alright. Uh, 
Chelsea. Come on. That's four of you. There's the fifth. You come to join us. And I have that back. Thank you. Oop, that was not the button I meant to press. That's the button I meant to press. You see, with that five wide gap... Now let's say... Oh no! They has broken through. Come on, you've broken through. The hatch is open. Could you... There we go. One of you made it through. Yeah, it keeps them from piling up on one another. Um, which was the, that's the, the the essence of his. But you'll see with this one, you can get down at crawlers. I'm not wearing any armor at all at the moment. See, look at those two idiots there. What are you doing? Would you like to maybe go through the big gaping hole that I have left for you? Excuse me. None of that. So, yeah. That works. No. I said no. Get off. Right. So that works. As a sort of staggered defense. You know, as one falls, you've got another way in. Um, and you could make that as big as you wanted, and as endless as you wanted. Um, that works in a very similar manner. I'd need to make this bigger. Um, and this way you've got clear view of anything coming up to you as well. So that works in a very similar manner. But this one you can't get in and out of as easily. Especially if you place those in the wrong way. But yeah, you can't get in and out of easy, uh, easily on this one. Um, I'd have to rearrange those. In fact, I'll do that now. It's not quite what I wanted you to do, but okay. Now I can take those out, because all of this is effectively resting on that point there for the moment. But the way that you could set this up so you can get in and out would be to use this. Go to advanced. Come on. There we go. So there. There. It's not going to work on a 4x4, four four, unfortunately. Um because reasons but I'll do that for the moment just so that they don't think that that's a valid way in Ooh. so you have your zombie area there let's And you can get in over the top when the hatch is open. Hatches really have broken this game at the moment in terms of a lot of things. Um, let's get some shells. Come here, over. Come over here, cheer. Come on, cheer squad. 
come and cheer on my design. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Oi, over here. Come on. There we go. All right. So with, you can't do it four by four at the top. You need to do it five by five. But you've got this similar situation here. And this way, the way that Jeroodle's got it is that you're above them aiming down. But this way, you can shoot them in the legs. And hit them in the legs. And that means you can get crawlers as well. Come on. That's it. Come on. Pop that leg. Pop that. No, that killed you. All right. Cool, cool. All right. And if I spawn in a crawler. Now, crawlers have got an obscene reach. Crawling zombie. Mm -hmm. oh, I think they're called. Zombie Steve. Um, yeah, come on. Come on, Steve. Steve, come on. Now, he should be able to crawl up, but shouldn't be able to get in. Come on, Steve. Come on. Come on, Steve. There's a good boy. Come on, Steve. Get over here, Steve. Come on. Now, you'll notice that they take a really long time crawling up here. So you've got plenty of time with your ranged weapons to shoot. Plenty of time to do upgrades and things. Oh, no. See? Crawler cannot get through. You're an idiot! Now those need to be a different orientation, but there you go. So that works. Doesn't work with the... Can the spider monkeys get through? Um, if crawlers can't, I'm pretty sure spiders can, but Apparently I can't either, even with the gate open. But usually if crawlers can't... Come on. There we go. Character's retarded sometimes. Um, yeah, well, we'll try it. They may be able to, I don't know. It, it used to be if a crawler can get in, a spider can get in. If a crawler can't, a spider can't. Um, let's not go with radiated, because they're going to hit really, really hard. Let's just go with... Any old spider. 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 Um. Hello. So. They are squirrely little buttheads. Come on. Come on. Where are you going? Now, if this base was the same way all the way around, that would be fine. Fortunately, because of the way I've done it at the moment. Come on. All right, spider. Can you get in? Nope. So it's the same. Um, crawlers, spiders. If a crawler can get in, spiders can get in. If a spider can get in, a crawler can get in. As they can't get in there, and the same applies to dogs. Um, if a zombie dog can get in, usually um, a spider can get in. 
Look. Come on, pooch. Come on, pooch. Come on. So, yeah. That works. Come on, pooch. And the other thing that's really good about with the dogs is if you get them to the right distance, as you saw, they just kind of stand there and look at you and give you this eerie kind of look of, I want to bite you, but I'm not sure how. Uh, because they're just outside of range of being able to bite you, but not quite in range of actually being able to bite you. So, yeah, that works. Now, I tried the same thing here, but for some reason they keep going this way. So what I'll do... And this is where the K tool would be really, really handy. Fun pimps, if you're watching this, this is infuriating that I have to do this. one damn block at a time instead of, oh, I want to do some creative building. Let me just clear this whole bloody thing at once. But no. You have to be buttheads and say no. Alright. Yeah. So this design, I like this design of having that there. Yeah, it works. But the problem I have with it is when it's like that, crawlers are harder to hit. If there's a horde of zombies there, and the, the crawlers are just free to wail on these blocks to their heart's content, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, where was that damage block just? There's a damage block somewhere. Hello? Yeah, they really did. I don't know why they took that away. It was stupid. But, anyway. Alright, let's try... Oop. There. So, theoretically... Well, I know I can get in. It's a little bit more difficult. But, you do that, and then you go... Like that, and like that. Yeah, you ask them and they say, oh, uh, must have been for performance reasons or something. It's like, no, that wasn't the reason you took it away. You took it away because you're douchebags. All right, so let's see if that's the only way they've got to come up. Come on, Bo. Come on. See, they're nice and slow. That's a feral. And they're set to sprint in this. Right? So, they are fast. Like, these guys are fast. I'll go away. Right? And they hit really, really fucking hard. So I've slowed down running up that ramp there. Works really nicely. Come on. Where are you? What are you doing? Why? <sighs> Morons, man. But anyway, so yeah, you can do that. And you can have a staggered defense going all the way down, much in the same way as this. And they come up 
easy to hit. The reason I prefer using this than the solid block, it's just because you can then hit the crawlers easier. And the way you'd adjust this is you take that out. Like so, and put them in. Nope, like that. And this takes me back to a very old build a very, very long time ago. Yeah, the, the pathing of the zombies is really weird in this. And you can still get up like that. So it's not much of a difference. And of course, you can make this like three or four deep or whatever you want it to do. You know. Um, let's get some Arlene's. Arlene's! Come on! And, with it five long, you can spread the damage out. Ow. Yeah, there's always some zombies that do, that do it. Mm. Yeah, definitely glitch. But yeah, the bot. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Like, I mean, I think this is going to be. I mean, a good way of doing it. Now, the real question is if they've got an easy way in that way say they've broken in behind you but you are locked in and we'll for the sake of argument put a roof on this because you know vultures How easy is it to fight up to the zombies? Because, you know, that's also an important question. And this is where the Aztec design comes in. The idea of the um, fighting up and down through the corridors like this. Oh yeah, multiplier, this would be perfect. Because you'd have people all the way around. And you could also flatten these corners off as well, so that, you know. And the other thing you can do is that you can actually turn the um, these parts into pillboxes with um, arrow slits inside them. So you've got an, uh, a uh, hole in here uh, with a ladder running down it and all the way around the outside you've got arrow slits so let's make sure everything else is locked apart from one route in so they can get in that way and what I'll do is I will spawn some, um, not Trader Hughes. Come on.
Come on. So they have a way in. There is a direct path to me from back here. Come on. Okay, they've broken through. Oh no, whatever will I do? Come on, you cannot be that dumb. You've broken through. Oh no, they're coming in behind me. So, you know, the horde came from the wrong side. You can still... Fight them that way around. Yeah, well, we, I, uh, I have random. Oop. I'm shooting Arlene with the, the wrong tool. Wow. Okay, I took off both your legs. I'm sorry. Uh, come on. You have broken through. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, this is okay. I don't mind if they're that stupid, you know, and they want to take that long getting in here. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's fine by me if they want to be that dumb. I say let them. You know, I say let them. But yeah, that works. That works okay. No. No. Is that stairs I put in there? No, it was a block, so why did... Mm. I don't understand. Yeah, if the zombies want to be dumb and just stand there wailing on something, I'm going to let them. I'm not going to tell them they're wrong. Never interrupt your enemy when they're in the middle of making a mistake. You know, always let them make a mistake. It's always a good idea. All right, well, I think that works fairly well. Now, let's do this. Yes. Um, uh, yes, that is straight out of Sun Tzu's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, let's give ourselves an array of weapons. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do this the proper way. We are low game stage. We've got a couple of melees. Um, some blunderboss ammo. We were very, very lucky to find some molotovs. We should really be wearing some form of armor, and I'm thinking padded hood, chest, gloves, legs, and boots. Um... We definitely have some form of healing, because I don't like going into any Horde Knight without any healing. Uh, and we have some food that we found. Boiled meat. And mollies. All right. A skirt is necessary. Okay. You say a skirt is necessary? A skirt is necessary. Uh, skirt's next page. No, where's the skirt? There's the skirt. Red skirt. Uh, 
go away. Don't need facial piercings. They do not. What is the point of the facial piercings? What, what possible use could you have for facial piercings in this? I, I don't understand. Anyway, um, let's get set up. We'll need. I'll leave the food in there. We'll have some repair materials because you're going to have repair materials. This is a day one hoard. So it ain't going to be a big hoard. But it is going to be 64 zombies. I don't think a tier one spear. What game stage are we at? Actually, let me... Maybe I should check that first. What are we sitting at? Uh, we're sitting at game stage 25. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'd, we'd, we wouldn't be running spear in, at 25. You'd be getting dubsies at 25. But Let's get this up. Let's get... We would have put points into Lucky Looter. Wow, you can get to four on Lucky Looter there? Nice. Um, I always get Healing Factor, Iron Gut, and Cardio by this point, and Pain Tolerance. Um, I'm always getting mother load and stuffs, so okay. Um, fortitude. There. So that's what we've done. So we're currently looking for spear and All right, well we'll say we've got a blunder. Um bought an AK from the trader. So And got some ammos. That's a lot of ammos, but so we've got that by then. Um, but we've only got a tier two iron spear. With, for the sake of argument, a mod in it. And mod wise, we'll go with foregrip for the AK. Um, ergonomic grip. For the spear. So we have we've had good luck in some respects, but bad luck in others, for the sake of argument. Okay. So we're good to go. We'll leave that open, that open, and that open, and that open. This is our fallback room, if things go horribly, horribly wrong. Let's go up to the base, to here. In fact, if I was doing that, I'd probably have... Yeah, I'd probably put some some way up onto the top here for now, but that'll do. Um, speed. I 
four. Uh, isn't six? Yeah, eight. That'll do. Um, take that to Horde Knight. Okay. All right, zombies. So spear, blunderbuss. I don't even know what ammo goes in the blunderbuss. Or what mods go in the blunderbuss, to be honest. But uh, let's speed that up a little bit, because I can't be bothered waiting that long. That'll do. Okay. Where are you coming from, zombies? Over there. All right, then. Burn, fuckers. Come on. Everything burns. This is fine. This is fine. On 64 zombies. Like, I know it's only day one, but come on. Ah, I know what I need to do. I do apologize. That should be a little easier to see. So, hi dear being. Ow. We spread them out a little. This way a little. Burn, fuckers. Absolutely, you have to look good fighting. So, reload. So yeah, I mean I can see this, uh, this is effectively two hour, Horde Knight, or one hour Horde Knight, or whatever the standard Horde Knight is, but yeah, this is easily doable, and you can spread it out, none of that's taken any damage, it's literally just these blocks down below. You know, I forgot to give myself. Repair kits! Just 
just in case. And you can loot. That's the nicest thing about this. During down moments. If you can hit them, of course. Come on, loop! Nice. So if you're running a uh, group defense, you could very easily keep this down. I mean, I'm just running back and forth. And as you see, I prefer this side. Again, you know. Burn. Burn. Burn! I mean... You don't even need to go down there, to be honest. You can just sit here and... Pepper them from up here. Yeah, and that's it. That was Horde. Day one, day one Horde. Well, day one Horde now. Day seven's not going to be much worse than that, to be honest. And that's it over and done with. So day seven, you know, you're talking a fairly easy defense. And again, I definitely prefer this. Either way, I mean, you can see which way they're coming from. You don't even need to be down there. If you're up here, you can see where they're coming from. Yeah. And all you need to really do is go down to um, repair a little bit now and then. And if you've got four of you, this is going to be real easy to defend. And as the hordes get bigger and nastier, you can upgrade them and add more steps in. I mean, what's to stop you once you've built that from digging down and out? You know? I mean, you're going to get resources. You're going to have this base that's got a series of steps going further and further out. The zombies have further and further to break through. Yeah. Anyway, that's the day one horde. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, really appreciate the help, as always. You guys take care, look after yourselves, and as always, be good. And if you can't be good... Don't give our name to the fun pimps. Till then, peace. And as always, feel free to check the links in the description below for access to the merch store.